Hi everyone. Okay, so we're back and um, we're going to talk about how to actually do useful things with graphs when they get this large. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is with Network X, you can export your graph. And I'm going to export this graph in GEXF format as medline.gexf. All right, and now I'm going to open up a new, oh, sorry, a new pro, um, a new session of Gephi. And so I have Gephi installed here. Um, I'm not going to go through the uh, installation of Gephi. You can find Gephi on the internet, and um, it's an it's a open source tool that you can download and install, and it runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows. So you should be able to get it going regardless of your operating system. All right, I'm going to fire it up. It's going to take just a second. Now the downside to Gephi is. It's really, it's really new and sometimes not always super stable. So if you have problems, probably it's a good idea to restart. Okay, so let's get our graph. Um, I'm going to open this. And keep in mind, I'm not doing this very scripted. So um, this is, you're kind of seeing things as they happen. And um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen, so we'll find out. You'll get to see me struggle through this just like you will. All right, so I'm going to find that medline medline.gexf that I had uh, created previously, and I'm going to click OK, and that's going to let me open this graph. And here it is. It's a great big square, and it's a it's a huge mess. So that's not incredibly helpful either. Luckily, it's easier to work with this in Gephi than it is in Network X because we can modify it in real time. You can see I can kind of drag it around and stuff. That's great. All right, let's work on um, filtering this down a little bit. So what I'm going to do to make it a little bit more visible is um, I'm going to say topology, degree rank. So this is a filter, by the way. I clicked on this filter tab. And I'm going to grab degree rank, and I'm going to drag it down here. And it's like, okay, what do you want your degree rank to be? I'm going to say, show me ones that are like at least 50. They have at least 50 edges, but not any more than 871. And that's going to be much less. So I hit filter. And there, we have something that's a lot more usable. Okay. Um, I'm going to do something else here. I'm going to go down to layout, and I'm going to grab this thing. Um, last word is Rheingold. And I'm going to hit Run. And what's going to happen is it's going to kind of explode my graph and arrange it in a way that's more visible. And I, you can just hit Stop when you like it. I think that's close enough. Um, I'm also going to go down here, and I'm going to click this button. And this is Show Node Labels. And now we can start zooming in. And, oh, look, we have node labels that we can click on. And if we click on one of these, we can start seeing like things that relate to each other. So this is pretty cool. So we can see that hemorrhage, the word hemorrhage, is tied to surgical procedures and pregnancy and plants, I guess, and kidneys and child and infant and disease, uh, gastrointestinal tract, you name it, hemorrhage is all over the place. Go hemorrhage. Okay, um, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. You can kind of start looking at this. So there's a whole bunch of ways that you can start visualizing and understanding things more here. Um, one thing that you might want to do is to take your nodes by degree and apply colors to them. And so now what happens is that um, this is, a, imagine this is kind of like hot and cold. So as degree increases, they, the nodes get more red. And you can see that, for example, disease is super red. It's probably the most well connected. Well, okay, but to be honest, maybe if I really want to discover something in this data set, I might filter out the word disease because this is a medical data set. Disease is probably associated with everything because a lot of things in here are disease. It's not useful information. Um, and there's a lot of ways that we could, that we could handle that um, that I'm not probably going to go into today. Uh, but if you do find yourself in this situation, uh, send, send me an email or a tweet and I'll talk you through some options. Okay, um, so that's one thing that you can do. Um, over here, statistics, this is really cool too. Um, if you remember all of that eigenvalue centrality that we did, here that is. You can calculate all these common graph statistics here. 
Um, all right, but one of them that I'm going to do is called modularity. And modularity lets us um, detect subcommunities or cliques inside of uh, this big graph. So we're going to find uh, subsets of this graph that go together more tightly. Um, and it asks me for some uh, numbers and, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, let's change this resolution down to like 0.8, and that's going to find uh, tighter communities. And I'll say, okay. And it's going to run, and it says, oh, okay, um, we found 10 communities, and here's their sizes. And, um, yeah, and a size and number of nodes. So we have one really large community, the others are pretty, yeah. They're, they're, I guess they're kind of all over the place. Okay, so, so what? Who cares? Well, what we can do now is we can go over here to Partitions, and I'll click Refresh. And I'm going to be able to partition by those modularity classes. So now, when I hit Apply, these are going to all change colors to the, to the clicks that they belong in. And that's pretty cool. So you can see this click. If I click on Infant nutri uh, Nutritional Disorders, it'll sh we can see what it's connected to or tied to and how it actually can tie a couple of clicks together, but especially you can see some other things that go in the same click. All right, but that's probably, um, if you're like me, you're thinking, yeah, I know, but let me just see one click at a time. Okay, let's cover on how to do that. And click in this in this context, I'm using the the mathematical term click. So it's it's what I'm what I mean when I say click is not like clicking a mouse, but rather click like a group or a club. Um, yeah, you know what I mean, like a click in high school. Okay. So um, all right, what I want to do is I want to filter, uh, and I'm going to look at attributes partition. Oops, modularity class. There it is. I'm going to grab that partition modularity class. And now what I can do is I can pick one of these and say filter. And then now we're going to only see this one particular one. So um, this one happens to have disease in it. So that's maybe not a great one. I wish we could hide disease. I, maybe there's a way to do that. I don't know what it is. Um, oops. Let's turn down those edges a little bit so they're a little bit less annoying. We'll turn these up and you can see that there's... Um, a couple of different um, things in here, but I don't really see anything that's that's obvious in that one. Like these don't necessarily, in my mind at least, go together super well. Let's see if we look at another one. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a healthcare person, so maybe you will see things that go together if if you know what any of these things mean. I do not. We can see here that um, this looks a lot like. Um, what all of these things that I'm seeing in here look a lot like uh, related to maybe hormones or hormone related diseases or endocrine disease. So we have hyperthyroidism and adrenal this and pituitary that. So um, those are all technical medical terms, right? But uh, yeah, I, I don't know, but it looks like that to me. Okay, um, we can pop down to the next one. And um, boy, this is fun because I just I have no idea um, what these are going to be. So this is another click we have, and let's see. A um, lot of stuff to do with, I don't know, skin, fat, I don't know, uh, heart disease, heart failure, liver disease, I don't know. I don't see that these necessarily look to be grouped, but I suppose they could be. Um, again, this is a problem um, in data science when you don't always have domain expertise with a domain. Um, yeah. So, okay, so here's nervous system stuff, um, blood and blood circulation. It's interesting how these all tie together. Um, and we can keep going. I won't, but um, you can go ahead and follow along with this at home if you want and um, see what you pick up and uh, let me know what you think. All right, thanks, everyone.